come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. These are perhaps the most consoling words we hear from our Lord in the Scriptures. Because all of us, regardless of the state of life, all of us have tremendous burden to carry in life. And many of us are tired. Even the bishop feels tired and burdened at times. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to hear these words of assurance from our Lord that he will come to give us rest. Because we are looking for rest in the midst of all the burdens that we carry each day. What are these burdens? Burdens that come from physical suffering. Those of us who are sick, those of us who have pain all over our body, sometimes physical burden comes from the strenuous work that we do day and night, the errands that we run that make us tired. But physical burden is not the most painful burden. It's the emotional burden that many of us, unfortunately, we carry them all our life. Burdens of the past, those who have hurt us, those who have caused us to suffer trauma, we cannot forgive. We are full of anger and hatred, and these make us burdened. And as such, we cannot move forward. Some of these burdens are psychological burdens because of responsibilities in life. Some of us have heavy responsibilities. We have obligation to our family, to our elderly, at work, in the community. And so we worry much for our children, whether they can pass the exams, whether they are well-behaved, whether they're mixed in the right company. We worry about our children, whether they have a good job, whether we have enough money to sustain the family. We worry about the health of our elderly. And this can cause us a lot of stress. But my dear brothers and sisters, again, these are not the heaviest burden. It's the moral burden. Because when we look at ourselves, sometimes it's very difficult to forgive our weaknesses, our sins. Although we try not to sin, again and again we fall into sin. And we hate ourselves for it. We cannot forgive our weaknesses. And so we carry lots of guilt and burden. And we are afraid, as some Catholics do, they think that God does not love them anymore. And God is going to punish them. And so they carry so much of this guilt. And guilt is crippling. Most of all, I think the greatest burden would be spiritual burden. Especially today in the world where we are so distracted by so many things. Not just people who do not believe in God. There is a spiritual vacuum in our heart. You can be successful in life. You can be doing well. And yet you find something is missing. That's why St. Augustine tells us our hearts are restless until we rest in God. Those people who do not know God, sometimes they wonder, what are they living for? What is the meaning and purpose of life? All the hard work that they put in, at the end of the day, we will have to leave everything behind. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, the burdens that we carry not only belong to the older generation, our young people today, they cannot take the stress, the demands of life. 
The Lord Jesus wants to deliver us from all our anxieties, all our worries, all our fears. But one thing I want to tell you this, Jesus is not going to take away your cross. Because in the gospel, he has made it clear. Any man who wants to follow me will have to take up his cross and come after him. Even the heavenly father did not exempt Jesus from the cross. Even when he cried out at the garden of Gethsemane. But Jesus will help us to transform our crosses into joyful crosses. He will help us to transform our crosses in such a way that it will enrich our life. It will bring us great peace. We must come to Jesus to learn from him how to carry our crosses. The same way that Jesus carried his crosses will be the way we should carry. Put on the mind and the heart of our Lord when we look at our cross. And so Jesus is saying, you don't carry your burden alone. I will carry with you. And this is very important. Many of us in times of difficulties and trials, we tend to rely on ourselves. We think we need to solve every problem. We think we have the power to resolve everything. My dear brothers and sisters, as a bishop, let me tell you, I'm helpless in so many ways. There are so many challenges, so many problems that I face each day as a bishop. And most of the time, I'm helpless. But it will be the Lord who will help me to carry this burden. Turn to the Lord when you are in trouble. Seek Him. He will help you to carry that cross. But it's not enough. To shoulder His yoke doesn't mean that Jesus will help us to carry our cross. To carry the yoke means to carry with the same mind and same heart of Jesus. How did Jesus carry his cross? In total submission to the Father. He was totally confident of his Father's love. That is why even when he was suffering, he could say, into your hands I commend my spirit. Because Jesus knew his Father's love. He was confident that even in his suffering, the Father was somehow come to his rescue. Even at his death, he knew the Father would do something. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, if you know the Father's love, then we can surrender our life to him. It's just like our parents, our friends. We know that our friend is standing by us. Even when we are suffering, we will be strong in him or in her. And that is what Jesus did. Jesus trusted in his Father's love. And that's why he got the strength. And he has heard his Father's love twice. At baptism, this is my beloved son. At his transfiguration, the same words were uttered by his heavenly Father. And to carry this cross, Jesus is teaching us we must carry with love. You know, when there is no love in our hearts, everything is a burden. If you find it's a burden to look after your children, a burden to look after your elderly, if it's a burden, you know, to come to work, it's because there is no love. When you have love, you find great joy in doing whatever you're doing. You have forgotten it must be a work of love. Not an obligation, not a duty. If it's obligation and duty, you will give your minimum and you feel tired. But when you do it with love, it's always full of energy. This energy comes from where? It comes from love, the love of God. And so if you find that you are tired, maybe because you lack love, you have forgotten to put love into whatever you are doing. If you put love in, into whatever you're doing, it will always be joyful. So don't take it as a duty. Take it as a challenge to love. It's an act of love. And you will be grateful. When you love someone, whatever you do for the somebody, 
There is no burden. In fact, you want to do more. Not only we do not carry the burden alone, we must carry it for our brothers and sisters. If God is our heavenly Father, Jesus is our brother, we must try, must try really to remember this. That's why we always told if you want to travel fast, you travel alone. You want to travel far, bring someone along with you. Don't travel alone. No Christian is ever meant to be alone. Every Christian has a community to support them. That is why the Christian community, we must always support one another. In this way, we carry the burden together and the burden becomes light. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, in order to enter into this love, what is required? Humility. Humility to be childlike. If we surrender everything to the Lord, if we trust the Lord, even with all our problems, with all our sufferings, with all the burden, somehow we know the Lord will take care of us. It's because we are proud. We think we know everything. We think we have to solve every problem. It is all our ingenuity. Then you are wrong. Proud people rely on themselves. Humble people rely on God. Doing what we can. Surrendering everything to a heavenly father. And most of all, my dear brothers and sisters, knowing that somehow he will help us to solve all our problems.